So hello there, my name is Ian Lemaitre. Uh, welcome to the video. And um, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the uh, old slow coach in the Hornby range. Um, I think she's a great model. Um, I really like the face. Uh, the face looks just like it does uh, in the television series, the show almost, I think. Um, so really nice. And uh, what's interesting is um, old, slow coach, old slow coach's face is on the back of her. Clarabelle, as you know, is a great coach. Um, and when she's seen travelling behind Thomas, um, she's always facing backwards with her brake bit, her brake department at the back, like it should be. Um, in some illustrations, um, she wasn't always seen with a face, but then most of the time, um, they were. Anyway, um, and also when I watched this um, ad old advert from the uh, Thomas Hornby range um, on YouTube. Um, old slow coach is seen uh, travelling backwards with a brake part of back like she should be. Um, however, in the television series, um, she's always seen uh, facing forwards, uh, travel so with her face forwards as she's going along. So she's always travelling um, the wrong way um, compared to what she would be in real life. It's interesting as well when you look at the um, Ertel die class model um, and also the uh, wooden one which I've got as well. Uh, the way that they do this. So as you can see here, I've got old slow coach in the wooden range, and uh, again, the face is on the back end on her brake compartment. Uh, the interesting thing is, um, obviously the magnets are designed so that they can be pulled a certain way. So if we use a whiff here, for example, um, she's designed so that when she's pulled forwards, um, her face is facing forwards. So again, um, in some ways, she's fa again she's facing the wrong way. Um, like I say, if I try and couple whiff up at the back, um, he just pushes her away because the magnets um, go, get, work, go against each other. Um, so again, she's pretty much been designed so that, you know, whatever engine um, pulls her, she can only go for, um, forwards unless, of course, you get an engine to pull her backwards like that. Um, the only engine that can actually pull her the right way is a Mighty Mac, as you can see here. Now Mighty Mac, um, as you can see, has uh, two faces and you probably know who Mighty Mac is. So this is Mighty uh, and this is Mac. Again, the names underneath, Mighty Mac. So um, because of how their magnets are, they're designed so they can pull from um, either way. So again, really, with them, they're the only engine that can pull up old slow coach in the right direction with her brake compartment at the right end and uh, funnily enough as you saw earlier I had whiff and uh, when I got whiff um, I got old slow coach as well and I got Isabella um, and that was an early learning centre when they used to sell um, the uh, wooden range and they were on a three for two offer or something so I got all of them, and I think one was either half price or worked out free, I can't remember um, exactly, but they're all the same price, about £15 each then. Um, again, they've probably gone up a bit more since then, um, I'm not too sure really. Um, there is a Thomas Wooden range out now, um, but I don't think nearly all the models look as good um, as what these ones did. And uh, as well as the Wooden range, um, I've also got Old Slow Coach in the Diecast range. Um, Ertel. Now they were made using metal, um, however uh, this model is completely made of plastic. Uh, again, really nice detail all the way around. And uh, again it's interesting here because she's got a very tiny coupling. And as you probably know, um, I collect the Ertel models. Um, some I've kept in the box uh, and others out of the box. And the scale wasn't always uh, correct. Um, and the couplings were also a bit different. Um, but as you can see on the back, her coupling's at the back, meaning that if an engine was to be coupled up to her, so like if we use duck here for example, um, duck can pull her so that she's uh, facing backwards the right way. And um, I've also got a uh, Boko here, and his coupling's uh, a lot, lot different to hers. And um, you know, if I tried to couple Boko up to old slow coach. Um, it's quite a bit of a struggle really. He barely uh, couples up that well, or just about. But again, 
Uh, the Ursel Range have designed her so that she's pulled uh, with her brake part at the back, so she's facing the right direction, like she should be. Anyway, as I was saying earlier as well, with the um, adverts, um, so again, I watch these on YouTube, so I do apologise that they're not best quality, some of them, um, but I do like watching the old Hornby adverts, and uh, I do remember watching them, uh, and also, um, as one as well, with uh, Bernard Cribbins, uh, and in my opinion, Bernard Cribbins is a great actor. Um, he was in The Railway Children, um, a film that I've got on DVD, um, you know, and he's been in quite a few other films as well, and I'm sure a lot of people remember him voicing the uh, Wombles, and uh, something I want to share out with you as well, just quickly. Um, I have this uh, McDonald's toy of Orinoco, uh, and Orinoco, as you know, uh, is the Womble that wears a red scarf, and um, however, my McDonald's one fell off, um, though I do actually have another one. Um, I don't know where I got this other one from. Um, but I've got one here with the scarf, and the one that's got the scarf missing, uh, I always used to take to school with me, um, you know, so the fact I've still got it, um, you know, for me, quite uh, sentimental, really. Um, I've also got these uh, Womble uh, cake toppers as well, um, and here you can see them on the layout down at Wellingborough Museum, where I exhibit sometimes. And uh, again, I really like uh, going on YouTube and looking at all the old TV adverts. Uh, some very memorable ones. Obviously, nowadays people can just skip through the TV adverts, but um, I think there was definitely some gems uh, in the TV adverts that there was, uh, and still some today being created. Moving back on to um, old Slow Coach, I think that you know she's a fantastic model. Um, great detail. And um, one thing I would say is in the TV series, um, this model, um, the brown it is really dark. Um, and in the TV series, um, her brown colour was a lot um, lighter than this. Um, and she was only in two episodes. She was in the episode Thomas Percy and Old Slow Coach. Uh, and in that episode, she was um, originally left for scrap and was going to be broken up. But Thomas and Percy saved her, uh, thankfully. Um, so she was in that episode. And she was also in the episode... Um, Happy Ever After, and in Happy Ever After we actually see the back of her, and she's got a window on the back, um, but if you look at the this model, um, it doesn't actually have a window on the back, it's just pretty much the same as the other side, but then again, um, I found this photo on the Thomas Wickier page, this is what her basis will look like in real life, and um, she looks pretty much like she would do here, the same colour as well. So in some ways, I suppose this model um, is more realistic in some ways than we think. Um, I do think it's a good model. And again, because the couplings are at either end, um, you can choose which way um, she goes. Uh, and when my Hornby model of Spencer pulls her, uh, she's a not-so-slow coach, because obviously Spencer's quite a fast engine. Um, but she does run really nicely. You can see her running here behind some of my engines.
So uh, I think this is a fantastic model. Um, like I said, I think um, you know some great detail all the way around. Um, I bought this off of um, Amazon, so I've had this for about probably about nine years. Um, but I think it looks really nice indeed. I definitely recommend you get it if you can. Like I said, the Hornby range has been discontinued now. Um, but no, I do think this is a great model. Um, and I have reviewed this one before, as you've probably seen on my channel if you watch my reviews. Um, but when I reviewed it, I did it with Hornby, Oliver, Duck and Toad. Um, and I got Oliver in the Backman range, and I also got Toad um, in the Backman range. Um, and I sort of mentioned the Hornby models in that, as well as the um, Backman ones. So um, I don't know if I'm probably going to do Oliver and Toad separately. Um, so I got Duck as well. Um, I'm not sure about Duck either. Um, but when I'd done that, they'd um, only just come back to the TV show um, in the CGI series um, after being absent for quite a few years. Um, yeah, so again, things were a bit different back then, but I thought I'd review Old Slow Coach separately because I felt there was a fair amount I could talk about her, and I do really like her as a character. Um, I do wish she was still on the show now in a way, really. Um, her model can be seen at Drayton Manor, and as you can see here, um, I've got some other uh, photos as well um, of other models that were there from the TV series. Um, I do hope to go over myself again one day. I was actually thinking about going back in March, but then Drayton Manor closed because of um, COVID-19, the lockdown. Um, but I do hope to go over again at some point. I'll say again, I've obviously not been before, but I do hope to go over again and see myself. Um, yeah. Uh, and Anyway, as you can see here as well, um, it comes in the old style Hornby packaging. Um, so yeah, um, I think this is a nice model. Um, I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10 because um, I'm not 100% sure, you know, if it's 100% what she looked like in the TV series. Uh, you know, it's not quite perfect for me to give a 10 out of 10, but I do really like it as a model. I'd definitely recommend you get it. But um, I do really like her. I think she looks really nice. And like I said, I do hope that maybe one day she does come back, but again, we never know really. I mean, um, I've seen on reviews before people saying that characters like uh, Billy, for example, uh, and Madge uh, were pointless. And Dennis the Diesel, though I like Dennis the Diesel, and I wish that he had more than just two appearances. I mean, Dennis was in magazine stories as well, so it wasn't entirely forgotten. Um, but I mean, personally, I like Billy, so, you know, I hope that he'd return. Imagine, I think, given some more storylines, they could be okay. I would like to see, um, let's say, old slow coach return again, definitely, if she did. Um, I, def I don't really watch the show now, but if she came back, I'd definitely watch the episode. As I said, I do think this is a really nice model, some really nice detail all the way around. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.